of winning. We're back in Sajikos Line and Lenf. As I said, I just want to remind you the start of the Sajikos Super Cup indeed, indeed bowls off on Sunday. A bit later on, we'll look at the games we have uh, scheduled for you. But we're going to go straight to our emails. Um, emails have been coming in even before the show started. Everyone getting a, a, a whiff or a breath of that Craig Braffitt was going to be here with us. So let's take in our first email. It comes from Argyle Mason. And uh, Argyle Mason is asking the question, or he says, well, hi, Craig. I saw, I saw you make a century for Erdiston uh, against Bailey's, and that was in St. Philip years ago. I told my partner that you will go far. Congrats. What do you think of the standard of pitches that you've played on in the regional under-15 competition, signed Argyle Mason? How, was the, how were the pitches? I mean, you had a taste of Barbados, you had a taste of St. Kitts, and then TNT. Well, the pitches, were all, they were hard and firm because they, they were rolling out well, so... Pitches were good. They weren't, they weren't poor. They were good. Good for batting mainly. Yeah, for batting. You, how do you look at the development of the team, though, in terms of a, of a regional unit? Uh, Keith Alterton records you should stay together much longer. You believe in that as well? Yeah, I think I think he's a group of good guys. So I think he wants to keep us together. It'd be better for the for West Indies cricket. All right, let's take in another email. As a former Cormorian, I did not have the advantage of a coach 24/7. So you should consider yourself fortunate, Craig. People like Andrew Mason keep saying that youngsters are not interested in cricket. Do you agree? Signed, Rohan Howell. That I don't agree because once you like cricket and you want to play and take it serious, that's you should do and you will just work hard. If you want to, and you, you, you will come on top. Arlie, when you go to watch cricket, because you've watched Craig uh, from uh, that level of, uh, of the Herman Griffith to on 15, do you see a, a, any apathy, any real lack of interest in youngsters not liking the game, like people say? Well, I, I don't agree because uh, I get the impression that uh, the youngsters seem to like the game a very lot. And uh, I must disagree with that comment because uh, everybody seems to want to get on the team. So they show this amount of uh, enthusiasm that uh, everybody's trying to compete to kind of get the play from the other fella. And uh, the level, to me, of the other players are, are pretty good. It's very much uh, on the up. There are other players that uh, can bat just as good as Craig. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess he has a little bit on them in the sense that uh, he, he likes to bat long, whereas others might t uh, attack the ball in a little bit more. So from that point of view, uh, I think the, the cricket is in, in good hands at this present moment from the youngsters. Let's take in a couple of phone calls in between our emails. Hello, good evening. You're our first caller tonight. It's five minutes to nine o'clock. Hello, good evening. Uh, good, evening. good evening to you, sir. Um, uh, congratulations to Craig. Uh. First of all. And I'd like to find out, I haven't heard anyone mention what his average was in the pre court tournament. Uh, his average is actually 98. No, no, no. It, it, well, it was 98 in the... Uh, 107.6. 107.6. In, in the two tournaments in together. The two, but in the last section of the tournament, I think if he scored two more runs, he would have had a perfect average of 100? No, no. I think it would have been lower than that. It would have been just lower than that. Okay, so there because you go. Because in, the, in the, uh, the league tournament, yeah, he had an average of over 200. Because he only uh, was out once okay. in the three games. So you got that, sir. His average is 107. All right, let's take in another call. Hello, good evening. Good evening now. Congratulations, Craig. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, you already knew that you was going far, and we expect you to play for the West Indies. <laughs> it remember the day is coming to pick it, pick it to the back, and you find somebody to put ball at you. We are glad that you've gone this far. Yeah, All right, thanks so much. Uh, let's take it another email. Uh, it says, Hi, Craig. Hi, Dad. Uh, it's lovely to see a father and son doing something positive. Craig, how important is it for you to have your parents by your side? And uh, do you watch a lot of international cricket? Signed, Jaheen HT at Hotmail.com. Do you watch a lot of international cricket? I'm not just talking about when the West Indies are playing, but generally, do you, are you involved in international cricket? Uh, no, because uh, I don't have cable or nothing, so I can't watch it. You don't have it. cable? No. Well, I think, I think CBC should offer you some MCTV. We'll have to get that <laughs> sorted out. Um, you don't have cable, so you don't get a chance to see sports match and watch international cricket. Would you like to? Yeah. Like what I'll do for you, Craig, uh, I have a number of cricket DVDs, a number of cricket DVDs.